So in this video, what we have is the curve y is equal to x to the 5. And I've drawn a diagonal line going from the origin to the curve. And the line and the curve meet at x is equal to 3. OK, so what we want to do is find this shaded area. So what would be most useful, first of all, is to work out what that y coordinate is. So we would substitute x is 3 into uh, y is equal to x to the 5. So 3 to the power of 5 is 243. OK, so that gives me my y value. Now, in order to find the shaded region, it makes sense that I would integrate x to the 5 dx between 0 and 3. And what that's going to do is going to give me the area between the curve and the x-axis. So it's going to give me that shaded region in blue. Then what I'll do is I'll find the area of that triangle and then subtract the blue area, and I'll have the area that I want. So add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and I'm going to evaluate that between 0 and 3. So I'm going to have 3 to the power of 6 over 6, take away 0 to the 6 over 6, which is just 0. So 3 to the power of 6 divided by 6, is 243 over 2. So that is the area of the blue region. Okay. So then I'm going to work out the area of that triangle. So the area I want is the area of the triangle, which is half base times height. So half the base is 3. Uh, sorry, well, the base is 3, the height is 243, so half times 3 times 2, 4, 3. That's the area of the whole triangle. And then take away the area of the shaded region, the uh, blue shaded region. So 1 half times 3 times 2, 4, 3. Take away 2, 4, 3 over 2. And that gets me 243. OK. So that is the area of the shaded region. 